to school with uh, Milton Glaser, Randall Ruffins was there, and Ed Sorrell was, uh, was another classmate who eventually became uh, one of the partners with Milton at, at Pushpin when we decided to maybe we could make a go of it as a studio. Milton and I loved working with old typography. We learned about that in school. Typography was very decorative in the 19th century because uh, uh, it was difficult to put images in the work in newspapers and magazines. Um, but the, top, the, uh, the type could be decorative. It was the illustration. Of course, modern typography throws all that stuff away. In terms of the kinds of work that we got, a lot of it was, was theatrical. Uh, not much for movies, but um, for, for concerts and um, literary institutions. We did um, book jackets, not too often bestsellers, where the type had to be big and the images, if they existed, would have to be small. But we were able to use the kind of range of styles that we'd love to work in. Somehow the style is, is in the air. Anyway, it was when we started and, and even before, you know, in the early part of the 20th century, we designers had just gotten over the Victorian style and when we went on, they went on to uh, Art Nouveau and then Art Deco. Uh, then there was sort of pocket steel, uh, surrealism. There were all kinds of things that were were happening, they, they come and stay over a while and we work in the, those, those styles. When we were a studio, using the styles as, as, suiting it, as it suited our purposes. I like to use irony, it just happens, because I like to find some direction in my work, uh, either despising what I'm drawing about whatever it might be, but I, 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 if it's just not irony, uh, it could be sympathy, it could be making things pretty, making things brutal. For the po posters that I like to do, um, my interests are in, in a way of protest and war and peace and usual stuff that liberal designers sort of care about. The environment to some extent, all those good stuff we, we like to do as long as we can get a terrific idea to go along with it. My most uh, famous poster is, was done for the, during the Vietnam War called Ed and Bear Breath, where the United States is bombing in the mouth of Uncle Sam here uh, as a metaphor for the dumb bombing that we were doing in, in Vietnam. The role of the designer, first of all, is to, he has to communicate, which distinguishes him from say, the, the fine artist who doesn't have to communicate but only satisfy him or her, herself. Uh, communicating is, is most important. Uh, but then we all want to assert our own sensibilities in the work that we do, working in, a, in style or ideas or concepts or things that, that really interest us. And uh, we can get away with an awful lot or as long as we satisfy what the client is looking for.